Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XV crossover video for 14. This time looking at the limited time event's main reward, the Noctis outfit. Designed then to resemble Noctis himself from the titular Final Fantasy XV, this outfit, complete with chest, gloves, legs, and boot slots, is pretty much 100% accurate to the original it's based upon. The outfit is acquired throughout the storyline of the crossover that begins over in Aldar Steps of Nold. Each major section of this questline gives you another part of Noctis' outfit, until eventually you get the final parts to complete the set. The chest then is comprised of a leather jacket and shirt, baggy combat trousers, a singular leather glove on your left hand, and some hard-looking leather boots to make up the set. You can see whilst zoomed in quite close some of the extra detail, the skull and crossbone motif is abound on both the t-shirt and the various buttons, the frayed and tattered edges of the fabric around the bottom, and of course these beautiful pockets. The intricate details that you only really get to see what they are close up give the outfit a much greater sense of realism from a distance. The outfit is naturally grey and black which is the standard colours and is fully dyeable, which should be expected from an outfit of this quality. I chose then to show the dye options off on a male Makote this time, as to differentiate from my usual nature of only showing Mioni and female cat girls. I think the majority of the colours come out really quite well, with strong dye options that leave very little undyed on the outfit. The jacket is just incredible for the value that you get out of it, with this undershirt that very slightly changes colour with the main dye, offering little spotted holes of colour from the intricate skull and crossbone designs. I think it's safe to say we could use quite a few of these parts with multiple sets in the game to make something fashionable, and there's something about that chest I just adore. It's just so well designed, I'm probably going to end up using that quite a bit on Mioni. To go with the cloud, squall and very various other Final Fantasy main characters we've had crossovers with in our game, this is a very welcome addition and gives plenty of new options for outfit ideas, and fortunately looks great on both genders. Either way, let me know what you think about this outfit below, and I'll see you all next time.